All right, welcome back to the channel. This is Albinster here and... Albinster Senior, or Senior <laughs> Albinster. <laughs> Albinster's dad. Albinster's dad. Anyway, um, here we are reviewing the new Mountain Dew Baja variants for the summer uh, flavors. Uh, these just came out today. So try going to your local Walmart or Smith's or wherever, or Kroger stores and uh, seeing if they're in your area. But yeah, this is Baja Point Break Punt. It's a blast of natural and artificial tropical punch flavor. And they did pretty good artwork on the box here. Very nice. Uh, if you guys want to see if it's in your area, let me flip the box around. You can scan the barcode. Not a lot of people do it, but I find it very helpful. And these are coming out both in 12 packs and uh, I believe the 20 packs or 24 packs that in bulk and they're coming out in 20 ounce uh, bottles. And they uh, roughly around about $5 a box at Walmart. Yeah, these are actually on so sale. It so. wasn't too bad. Uh, and there's a barcode for that. But yeah, this is a Baja Laguna Lemonade. Very nice. Uh, looks like it's going to have some mango and... Uh, Lemonade flavored. Oh, I, I had other ones, yeah, mango. Mango lemonade is what it says. It's a blast of natural and artificial mango lemonade flavors. If you guys have been following Baja Blast Mountain Dew, um, they've actually been releasing multiple variants of the Baja flavor, um, just in different flavors. They've released Mango Jam and Baja Gold and uh, Baja Punch uh, these past few years. Last year, they released a Caribbean Splash and Passion Fruit Punch. I uh, did a review on those as well, so if you want to check those out, feel free to. Um, but yeah, we're going to compare the Caribbean Splash to the Point Break Punch. But which one would you like to start with? Lemonade. Lemonade, mm -hmm. okay. And here is the can. Very nice, as always. They did a parrot, it looks like, at the top. Pretty pretty tropical summer type uh, vibe you get from this can. It's 170 calories per can, which is quite a bit. I know. I mean, that's that's at the highest, one of the highest levels. 50 milligrams so. of sodium. Uh, total carbohydrates 44 grams. Total sugars 44 grams. Uh, it's, the color is yellow. Six doesn't really say what other flavors are in it, but yeah, pretty pretty cool design. Mm -hmm. um, let's get it on. Yeah, let's try it. It's like a goldish orange. It's kind of the color of the one that KFC. Sweet Lightning, yeah. Yeah, it looks just like that. It's definitely smell the Baja um, flavor. I smell the mango. <laughs> and I smell the mango. Big time. So, you want to do the honors? Yep, <laughs> cheers. Well, as can be expected, smelling the mango, you can definitely taste the mango more than even lemonade. It doesn't even really taste like lemonade. Um, in fact, I would even say it does kind of taste like the uh, one at KFC, the Sweet Lightning. No, but Sweet Lightning has more of a peachy. Peach, yeah, but it's peach honey along flavor. those lines for sure, I think. I taste the lemon. I, I you taste it. it? It's, well, it's like a citrus. It's a mango, mm -hmm. think of a mango, think of the mango, uh, I think it's mango jam that they released a few years ago. Think of that with a mixture of of lemon. Like think of Mountain Dew mm -hmm. Vibe. If any of you guys have ever yeah. heard of Mountain Dew Vibe, it's uh, exclusive to Witch Witch uh, stores and it's a lemon uh, Mountain Dew, lemon flavored Mountain Dew. So think of a lot of, at least a good amount of lemon with mixed with mango. Um, not bad. You do get the Baja Blast taste, of, of course, as well, um, mixed in. What would you rate it? Scale of 1 to 10. Not, I'm thinking it's pretty good. I, I definitely think it's good. I would rate it pretty high. I'd maybe give it like a... I'm thinking like a eight, eight point two, somewhere around there. I was about an eight myself. You think? Yeah, but for I sure. I think it's really good. I mean, if 
I know he says it's kind of citrusy and all that. All I tasted was the mango mostly, which isn't a bad thing, but I thought it'd have more of a lemony flavor since it's a lemonade. Um, but it's definitely still good. It's good. I mean, there's been things we've had that have just been on the other side of the scale. So this yeah, we read it. The we did the Coca Cola uh, K Wave creations. Yeah. And wasn't really good. Also did the Coca-Cola Happy Tears, and that wasn't really much to be expected. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, everything with Mountain Dew, it's always been pretty good. They've always been pretty good. Have a good flavor with them, and they're celebrating Baja anniversary, <laughs> twenty years. I'll start getting the next one. Well, that's Crimson Splash. But let's get Point Break Punch out. Take a look at this one. This one's pretty cool as well. This one, I can't tell. It looks like maybe some sort of berries with pineapple. Uh, it has some, I don't know if it's raspberry or what, but only one way to find out. I've been seeing cherries on there too, so. Um, sunset, pretty unique. 170 calories as well. Uh, if you really want to go into depth with that. It looks like pineapple. Yeah, it has like pineapple, pineapple maybe and cherry. Even grape and cherries. That's a bunch. So um, very similar to Caribbean Splash here from last year. Uh, this one was more of a artificial guava flavor, which is like a strawberry. Um, both pretty cool and unique. But yeah, let's crack open Point Break Punch. Mm -hmm. This one's pink as well. As well, that's a little yellow. Looks very much like the Major Melon uh, from Mountain Dew. If any of you guys have ever tried that, it looks very similar to that. This one has a unique flavor, like scent to it. Hmm. Can't really place it. Kind of even smells like an air freshener. That's what I was going <laughs> to say. It kind of smells like the office, like a doctor's office air freshener of some kind. Yeah. I'll um, let you do the honors. The carbonation on this one isn't nearly as strong as the Laguna Lemonade. It's mm. pretty subtle, but it says it's an artificial tropical punch flavor. It's very unique. It's a lot different than what I was expecting, but it's very good as well. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, I like this one. This one's pretty good. Um, if anything, I would say it has more of a lemonade flavor to it than the than mm -hmm. the actual lemonade. Plus, the definitely you can have the punch flavor. I, I taste the punch in there too. So yeah, there's more. There's more of a fruity. Yeah. I would say more of a cherry type of. I get more cherry with the Point Break punch. Not not really cherry, but just like that fruit punch taste. That, that's what it tastes. So at least the name is more true to the taste. In my I opinion. Know, I, I still think Laguna Lemonade. It does taste more lemony. You think so? I think. And I, and to me, it's more mango. <laughs> yeah, the mangoes. The mangoes. Mangoes just so rich and everything. I, I kind of wish they wouldn't put it in things because. Even Pepsi did a version of mango, and I mean, for me, all I taste is mango. So it's just a very strong fruit. They're both really good. Both a great drink to have for the summer, especially alongside Baja Blast. If you guys are a fan of that, which most people are, I I, I tend to like the punch right now more than the lemonade, just by a bit. I mean, if I was to rate them, probably go a nine. You go a nine with a point break punch? Yep. How about you? I'd probably give it maybe more of a, like, I'm thinking more like 8.7 or so. It's not. Oh, come on. You're at 8.7. You can do a nine. It's only one point. <laughs> it's really good. Wow, well, but I rated the Laguna Lemonade much lower. I mean, I honestly think they're both really good. They're both pretty close to each other, but. Um, 
Maybe we'll do an 11 8. I'm thinking maybe like eight and a half, and we'll do a point break punch for nine. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll do Caribbean Splash as last year's Baja flavor. Same color. It's a little Just bit more. About. It's more like an orangish pinkish color, not as pink as the other one. But yeah, this one has more of a strawberry scent to it, kind of like guava. Almost no scent. You have to really smell that one. You want to try it? Mm hmm. I wish I had some passion fruit punch uh, to go along with this, but I no longer have it. This does <laughs> taste a lot like the punch. I would say we're very close. Very similar, I'm sure. Let's see. Yeah. Um, not much difference. Um, side by side, I think the punch might have just a little bit more flavor, but th but it's, this one's not bad in any means. I mean, I think it's still pretty good, but but probably the punch right now is my favorite one. I think. Um, how about you? I don't know. I, I might stick with. Well, I do like the punch too. I like them pretty pretty much both equally, but there's. I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot to like about Laguna Lemonade, just by the mango and lemonade flavor. You do get it's more of a tropical, like maybe like on a, something to drink, like on a nice summer afternoon. This one too, but I don't know. I'm thinking I do like them very both, like very similar. But do you think uh, the splash is just like the punch, like me? Mm. They're both good in their own ways, but mm. I don't know. Punch think, is better, huh? I do think the punch is a little better. It does have more, like, has more flavors in it opposed to just the simple guava uh, taste. Which is good this one provides. because nobody's going to probably be able to find the splash anyway. But out of <laughs> the last year's Baja flavors, I do think Caribbean Splash was more of my favorite than Passion Fruit Punch, but... They were both still pretty good. The year before they had... I like Passion Fruit Punch better. The purple one? Yep. That they had? I thought that one was way better. It was I good. Think. Luckily, I still have some saved somewhere, but uh, none left to drink, so... Um, anyway, so my rating for the Splash... Caribbean Splash? Probably, probably be more along the lines like I gave the, the Laguna. More at about an 8. Yeah, very, very good. Definitely glad to see that Mountain Dew has brought the Baja flavors back and re <laughs> as more of a new flavor, in fact. And they're honestly really good. So mm -hmm. definitely recommend trying them if you can go to your local store, see if you can find them. Definitely both really, really good. Enjoy. And the nice thing about them is that, well, they all have that Baja flavor in them. So they have the flavors plus the Baja flavor. And Baja Blast should be around for the rest of the year. These will be around for a couple weeks, and or at least until I think well, probably a few months, I would think. Probably till the end out. of probably till the end of summer, and then you'll see yeah. the Voodoo coming out, uh, Voodoo Six, and yeah. there'll be another few Mountain Dews that will be released. Uh, I think next one will be Infinite Swirl and uh, Purple Thunder Zero Sugar, and I think that will be it for then. Uh, we've got Sprite Summer Chill coming out. That's another one that will be. It's mm -hmm. like a cherry lime. Uh, flavor with the cooling uh, agent in it and a few I others like a few others that will be released but uh, yeah until then uh, we'll see if we can find them but until then well, feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share and uh, hope you guys enjoy these videos mm -hmm. and as always we will see you in the next one take care enjoy